Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshir Dudej. I am working as technical architect at Adobe, and I know I'm pretty late for day 25th July Lead Code Challenge. Uh, it's already around 11 p.m. and I had a hectic day. I had to go to office in the morning. I came back around 8:39. Then I had my dinner, and now I'm here with solving this problem, which is find first and last position of elements in a sorted array. So here you are given an array that is sorted in nature. What you need to identify, you need to identify the first and the last occurrence of the target element that is specified. For example, here in this case, the target element happens to be 8. So we need to identify the first and the last occurrence of this target element in your input array. The first occurrence is at index 3 and the last occurrence is at index 4. Therefore, the output would be an array wherein the first element would be the first occurrence index and the next element would be the last occurrence index. In case uh, the target element doesn't exist, you need to return minus one in those cases. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation section where I'll be explaining you this algorithm. Find last and first position of elements in sorted array, lead code 34. Since the question itself says sorted array, the approach to be followed should include binary search technique. So whenever you see the word sorted in the question, always think of binary search technique in general. Take it as a tip. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are specified below. Now let's get started. I have taken a slightly different example. Here the elements are 1, 2, 2. Uh, 2, 4 times 2 followed by 3 and in the first scope we are interested in identifying the starting index where our 2 occurs that means our target element is again 2. So the starting index where 2 occurs happens to be this one. So we are identifying this particular index. How will we be doing it? As I told we will be using the binary search technique however with a slight twist. So I will explain the algorithm as we progress while iterating over this example. So I have taken two pointers, low and high, low points to 0, high points to 5. As the basic rule of binary search, what do we do? We identify the middle pointer. Where will the middle pointer point? 0 plus 5 by 2 gives you 5 by 2, 5 by 2 is 2, so mid points to the second index. Now at 2, we extract the value. What is the value? The value is 2 again and the target value is also 2. So we make a comparison between these two and since these are equal, we can say that we can simply discard all the elements towards the right of the middle element. So all these elements can be discarded because we are interested in identifying the starting index of 2. As a result of it, what we should be doing? We should be updating our high pointer to the middle element. So high gets updated to middle element over here. Now let's do the same thing again. Low points to 0, high points to 2 we identify the middle element which will come out to be this one. Again we make this comparison, 2 happens to be equal to the target element. Since both of them are equal, we can simply discard all the elements towards the right of the middle element as a result of which high now points to mid. Let's again reapply the same algorithm and now low points to 0, high points to 1. What do we do? We identify the middle element. The middle element will also point at the 0th index. We extract the value. We make a comparison with the target value. As you can see that the current value at the middle index happens to be lower than the target one. What we should be doing? We should be moving towards the right direction. And since we are moving towards the right direction, how can it be done? We will simply update our low pointer to mid plus one. Therefore, low gets updated to mid plus one, which is this index. and since high and low have become equal, this brings a breakage condition. Uh, we abort the process as soon as our low turns equal to the high index. And if you carefully observe, then both are pointers. The one at the high index and low index points to the starting index where our target element occurs. Learn this algorithm by heart guys and it will help you in all the binary search technique questions. Now let's proceed towards the second part where we are interested in identifying the ending index. So we will be exactly following the same steps. However, there is a slight twist to the previous approach and I'll be explaining you this approach as we progress towards the iterate iterations. So here I have taken two pointers, low points to zero, high points to five. 
However, there is a slight change in the algorithm by where how we identify the middle element. So usually middle element is identified using low plus high minus low by two. However, here we additionally add one by two while calculating the middle point because we want to make it biased towards right. So we'll get to know about it as we progress ahead why we are adding an additional 0.5 value while calculating the middle element. So let's get started. A uh, low points to zero, high points to five, and uh, what is the sum? Zero plus five gives you five. Five plus one one gives you six. Six by two gives you three. Therefore, the middle element comes as three. So mid points to over here. Again, we check what is the element at the middle index. It is two. And what is the target element? The target element happens to be two again. Therefore, since both of them are equal, we can say that. all the elements towards the left of 2 can be discarded because we are interested in identifying the rightmost index as a result of it what we should be doing we should be updating our low pointer to the middle index because these elements can simply be discarded so low gets updated to over here now let's reapply the same algorithm and low points to 3 high points to 5 3 plus 5 gives you 8 8 plus 1 gives you 1 9 Nine by two gives you four. Therefore, mid comes as four. Let's again check uh, what is the current value at four. The current value at four is two. Two and two, since both of them are equal, what can what we should be doing? We should be simply discarding all the elements towards the left of four index. Therefore, low again gets updated to the middle index over here. So now we have low at four, high at five, and let's apply the same algorithm again. So four plus five gives you nine. Nine plus one gives you ten. Ten by two gives you five. Therefore, the middle entry comes as five. So mid points to over here. And again, we make the comparison. Uh, what is the element at the fifth index? It is three. We compare three with a target value, which is two. Since three happens to be greater in value, we should be moving towards the left direction and discarding all the entries, including this entry. because this value is higher than the element that we are looking out for as a result of which high gets updated to mid minus 1 which is this index so now we have high pointing to 4 and low also pointing to 4 since both of them are equal this brings a breakage condition because we will be only looping till the time my low is less than high and with this uh, breakage condition as you can see we have successfully identified uh, the rightmost index which happens to be 4 once th this loop breaks you can simply check the value for low or high pointer both of them will give you the rightmost index at which 2 occurs we exclusively added this 1 by 2 extra value while calculating the middle point so as so that our algorithm gets biased towards the right and in case if you remove this value then it will go in infinite loop so you can try this up you can try run it the same way i have done it and you will yourself realize that if we don't add this extra biasing then this algorithm will fail this is an interesting part and i believe you should learn this algorithm up after understanding it without further ado let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll be exactly using the same codes as i have just talked over here So here I have taken two pointers, low and high. Low points to zero, high points to num dot length minus one. This is a corner case. Uh, let's forget it. We are interested in identifying the starting index. This is same algorithm snippet that I showed in the presentation. And uh, in case my ANS, I have created an ANS value by default. Uh, and uh, I have initialized both of them to minus one, minus one. And I again check num dot two happens to the target. Then I update my ANS dot zero to low. and uh, once i have successfully done it what do i do i again reset my low and highs to a uh, low to zero and highs to num dot length minus 1 and this time i am interested in identifying the ending index again i check if my num dot low happens to be equal to the target then i update an ans dot 1 to the low index and in the end i simply return the ans value so in case these equations are not met in case the elements are not found then uh, the default answer would be returned which is this one so let's try this up 
it's 100 times faster which is pretty good and the time complexity of this approach is pretty simple it's log n and in case if you are interested in identifying in doing more, pro, more solving more problems of a binary search technique then you can look at coding decoded SD preparation sheet here I have tagged all the important questions from the interviews perspective with respect to the binary search here you will find three combinations of it the regular binary search the range based binary search and tree set or tree map based kind of an approach and I have categorized all the questions in terms of difficulty easy medium and hard and all those that have been marked with double asterisk sign are most important from interviews perspective so I'm attaching its link in the description below so do check this out and with this let's wrap up today's session I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and this is probably our 838th video uh, I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye take care good night